At some point in time, every bow hunter has gotten a call from a buddy saying that they just shot the biggest deer of their life. Sometimes it's for real, and other times they're just trying to get a rise out of us. On this particular occasion, I was three hours into the four-hour journey from Wisconsin to Iowa. I had hesitantly left home during the peak of the rut to video him hunting possibly the biggest deer either of us had seen in the woods. From the tone of his voice, I knew he was for real, and even though we missed the chance to get the shot on video, neither of us knew the kind of adventure that was in store. This is the story of the deer he calls Sausage Fingers. All right, literally just got to Iowa. Uh, about, what did I get here, 15 minutes ago? Austin calls me on the way here. Says, hey, I stuck the monster. So now we're uh, we're just heading out on the farm here and taking the gator. We're gonna go see if we can pick up the blood trail and find his buck. What happened, Austin? Uh, shot him about two hours ago. It's the monster I've been hunting. Uh, it's the fourth time I've saw him. He came in with doe, uh, about 35 yards. Wasn't real happy with the shot. A little low, a little back. I think I got him around the liver. Um, but went and looked at the arrow, covered in good blood, and there was a good trail. I decided to back out. Been about two hours. We're uh, gonna go ahead in, see how the trail looks. If it looks good, we're gonna start tracking. If not, we might give him some more time. It's a heck of a way to come to Iowa. Uh, super excited to be here and to uh, have a big buck on the ground as soon as I pull up. That's, that's pretty cool. So we're gonna see if we can get out some blood. So yeah, I plugged him there. He came from way down that way. I watched him. I saw him down in there about an hour, and then 30 minutes later, I saw him coming with the doe. They got in this thicket just on the other side of those trees. I had no shot. I decided to come downwind, and she walked right over there. You can see my hat. I got a whole cat over there with the arrows. Stuck her there. So he stopped right here uh, with the doe. Stood here for a little while, and I took a second poke at him. I missed with that shot. Um, I don't know, this is about 45, 60 yards maybe at most. But uh, it's a pretty good sign. We're seeing a lot of blood right away. I'm a little more confident in the shot. We're getting quite a bit, so hopefully he didn't make it too far. I know I saw him walk at least 100 yards from this position um, down the hill and up the hill, but he looked really hurt and he was hunched over walking slow. So this is what we want to see. Hopefully we get him. That is a lot of blood. Can you find my arrow? It was. If he was standing right here, the arrow should be. He'd have been standing right here. The arrow passed through, was sticking down there. And then you can see the blood I Love those arrows. Those are those Easton full metal jackets. We tracked the buck for a good 400 yards before deciding it was time to pull out. The blood was getting thin and the light was getting dim. We thought it'd be better to come back in the morning. Well, as you can see, it's the next morning. Last night we decided to pull out. It uh, started getting dark and uh, the blood slowed way down. Um, it only been about two and a half hours and it looked like we had a kill shot for the amount of blood. I think it's a liver, but not sure that he had uh, died yet. So we decided to back out. Um, and now that the light's good, we are gonna head back in and see if we can't find him laying somewhere. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But a beautiful Iowa morning today. Can't beat it. Full super moon last night, it was amazing. At this point, it's important to give some context. We had just spent the last five and a half hours coming through over 300 acres of timber. We were sweaty, we were cut up, we were literally about to give up. The blood had run out hundreds of yards ago, and we were literally looking for a needle in a haystack. 
It was at that point that I heard a blood-curdling scream from probably a half a mile away. Here's what happened next. You just walked up on him randomly? Yeah, I was just looking in the stuff I could find. No way. I'm like, oh, I'll back up around. I was up there, I was like, maybe I should go left. Right. Oh my god, I was like, just lost all hope. <laughs> what did I tell you about this monster? He's so nice. Best air I've ever seen in my life. Unbelievable. Oh. Congratulations, man. Wow. Oh. What a giant. I came back this way. Oh! <laughs> so good. Wow. TJ Matt, Matt TJ. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> nice <laughs> conditions to meet this you on the right. <laughs> This is my monster buck. Uh, if you guys could carry this out of here, that'd be great. <laughs> oh! God, see, it wasn't that far back. Eh, it was back <laughs> a little bit. Look at that. came out wide. Wow. Yeah. That's a big hole. He's so big. Look at this monster. Ah, look at this he came monster. Right here. Hey, Dennis, how you doing? I can't believe you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen wow. points. Oh my god. Ah! I cannot believe it. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Got, just got him out of timber, taking him back to the farm. We're gonna get some good video and pictures of him. Um, this guy was out searching. I went back to pick up another one of my friends to help track and uh, kind of lost all hope. We haven't seen blood since where we saw it last night, backed out. Um, just followed the track where I thought he might have went. You know, I knew he didn't want to keep going up the hill. He ended up turning right towards uh, some thicket, some water. And it was at the point where we were looking in thick brush, because that's all the hope I had left, and walked right up on him, saw that beautiful rack, and had to take a double take, and there he was. Absolutely gorgeous. By far the biggest buck I've ever shot in my life. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of cool characters. Brow tines are insane. Unreal. We were about to give up. <laughs> Woo! Well, folks, here he is after a lot of uh, heartache, ups and downs with this guy. We finally found him. Uh, when you think of Iowa, you think of big bucks, and this uh, 2016 rut did not disappoint us at all. One of the most unique bucks I've ever seen on the farm here. Trip brow tines on both sides. Um, it's a really cool deer. Uh, I jumped him the first time I saw him, and the unique thing about this, I'm fairly confident I got him on trail cam last year. He had split brow tines, put out the trips this year, and then also um, another one. So last year, he was a 12 pointer. This year, he is a solid 16, and absolutely beautiful and massive. Uh, like I said, it's the fifth time I saw him. Last night I put a shot on him. Um, felt decent about the shot. I knew it was back. It caught the liver. Uh, my first first deer with my brand new Matthews Mission bow. Uh, it performed wonderfully. I did the Easton Full Metal Jacket arrows and they punctured right through along with the uh, Rage Broadhead. You can see the hole that this uh, Rage Broadhead made. Absolutely brutal. Um, that's the reason he dropped. I knew I got liver and he bled out. Went a good half a mile, we tracked him, lost all blood, and then just started looking in uh, thickets and down by the water, and by the grace of God, I stumbled upon him, and I could have not been happier. I was screaming and shouting. But this is it, the best buck I've ever shot in my life, uh, hands down, and it's gonna be hard to top this one uh, in the years ahead, but uh, I look forward to trying. Hopefully this guy got out, did some breeding the last couple of years, and be exciting to see what's coming up on the farm in the years to come. <laughs>